Well, now I'm going to present what, what we understand by a power pattern. Well, the origin of this concept is on the patterns defined by Alexander in the field of architecture. And we can define the pattern as a recurring solution to a common problem in a given context and system of forces. We selected patterns because they were intended for reuse and to be reused. And because the structure of a pattern, the basic structure of patterns, is very similar to the environment we found when we want to produce a software product, because we have a problem that must be in a context and solved with a set of restrictions or forces. And in the software engineering field, there are many kinds of patterns. The difference between them and product patterns is basically that product patterns are oriented to any, to gather, sorry, the knowledge to produce any product along the software life cycle. And this product-oriented approach is related with the fact that, for instance, if you have two activities with the same purpose in different methodologies, probably the name will be different. The, the, probab the probability will be very high. But if you, but probably the names of the products producing these activities will have two, one, two, or three names, three different names, but not more. So it is easy to find them by synonyms. We visualize the use of, of patterns as um, architects use their structures. So architects have uh, a set of predefined, proven, and solid structures. And, when they, and often, they use them or reuse them when they start a new project. So what happened in, in the software project is that the project manager distributes the work among the, the teamwork who has to define to decide how to produce the products related with the activities assigned. So we see product patterns as proven structures to be reused in order to produce new projects. Yeah.